Dallas to get my hair cut again. That's why it's up in my little turban because it's wet. I'm gonna get sort of a mullet, like Stevie Nicks, Shag. That's the way I usually have my hair cut. What I used to call it a high fashion mullet, but I guess nowadays people are calling it a modern mullet. But um, yeah, it's a modern take on like a shag haircut from like the 60s, 70s vibe. So yeah, I took you guys on the last trip to get my hair cut. So I'm gonna do it again. Definitely we're hitting up Starbucks because she deserves it. So I used to dye my hair, you guys probably don't know because you know, you've only seen me on YouTube, but people who like know me in real life and follow me on Instagram or whatever, wherever you have found me, probably remember like I used to dye my hair every color under the rainbow. Um, every color under the I meant every color of the rainbow, but I was also trying to say every color under the sun. <laughs> so I just like, I'm really hyper right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta collect my thoughts. So yeah, I used to dye my hair like every color I could. Um, yeah, my hair was actually this color once. So that was my journey, you know, in high school and everything. I was like, let me just dye my hair every color. And you know, that carried on into like my early 20s. And then mid 20s, I just decided to dye my hair black. And then, you know, once you dye your hair black, it's like kind of hard to just go another color you know when your hair is blonde like I used to bleach it and I would just dye over that with a bunch of different colors and that's really easy because it fades you know and then you just you can either re-bleach if you need to or you can just put another color on top of it I haven't dabbled in natural hair colors just blue purple green orange you know what I mean yeah, so this is the first time my hair has actually been my natural hair color since I was probably like 12 or 13. I don't know however old I was when I dyed my hair black the first time. Yeah, this is really exciting that I'm gonna have my normal haircut back because I just haven't really been feeling like myself on the outside. Um, I've been trying to like, you know, I've been on this spiritual journey trying to, you know, heal some inner wounds and things like that. And so I haven't really been focusing on my outer appearance. Um, not really I scaled back wearing makeup a lot all that stuff so when I dyed my hair black I just kind of started letting it grow off after like a couple years of having it dyed black um, pretty regularly um, I would dye it myself obviously but keeping it black for like two years that was the longest I'd kept one hair color and it was just kind of weird it was kind of like what am I doing is this like me but I was also just severely depressed and like things that I was like work, working through but then I started like thinking about it and I was like well I want to just like grow this black off I don't want to bleach it and tear it up like I just wanted it to be healthy and silky and all that again but yeah so I let the black start growing off of my hair once it got to like here that was like um, this part was like black and this was all like my natural love it was like an opposite ombre okay sorry I had to order <laughs> Basically, I just let it grow out a good while and then I was like, okay, I need to really get rid of this black. So I ended up bleaching it and it turned this like really pretty like like auburn kind of look. So it almost looks like I did it on purpose and I was like, all right, I'm vibing with that. Cool. I don't have to, you know, keep, you know, because I was doing color remover trying to get the black off and then I just decided to bleach it at the end because I was like, this is just too much because um, the black would not come off because I mean like I said I kept dyeing it black for two straight years after that I've just kind of let it go and been getting like trim trims um, things like that like I haven't had a like real hair cut until that video that I posted on here where I went and got like kind of a you know um, a nice frame to my face but that has since grown out my hair obviously grows pretty fast okay guys Someone almost hit my car. <laughs> I was like, so scared. Speed bumps, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like, ooh, let me wait a minute. Okay, yes, this is the place you need to turn out of, okay. Ah! The mild screaming, that's literally just me when I'm driving, like anywhere, or doing anything. It's just mild screaming. So back to my story. Um, I haven't had a, like, you know, shag kind of haircut in a while. And that's what I like. I like to just be able to like, you know, but my hair has just been one length, which that was my goal was to get my hair to one length because I've been getting bangs 
and I like bangs and everything but it was just kind of like I want to try something new and I know in order to do that I'm gonna to have to let my hair grow so I just let it grow and like I said I wasn't focusing on what I looked like really on the outside um, I was more focused on how I felt on the inside and like trying to figure out where I am you know in my body in my life that kind of vibe I think that I'm getting to that point where I have figured it out and I feel comfortable in myself and like where I am and I just yeah I'm ready for the outside to match the inside basically <laughs> Is what I got I had one the other day this is the venti iced brown sugar oat milk espresso espresso <laughs> and um, for my stylist she likes the white chocolate mocha so I got her a venti size of that too I I think I'm gonna use my straw I know they gave it to me in the sippy cup and the only reason why I can't do sippy cup like for these kind of drinks is because of the um, the ice I have like sensitive teeth and when I drink like the sippy cup the ice comes up and it's like right here so the drink is so cold which I know a lot of people like really cold drinks but I don't really like that um, because I have sensitive teeth. So, I am gonna use my straw and that, you know, I hate that these are plastic straws. If they could just make straws that are like out of a plasticless material that are like compostable, because I have bought a box of those, so I know that they exist. If Starbucks could just take their big wad of cash and invest in a non-plastic version of a straw. I think everyone would be happy. All right, guys, let's go in and get this cut. <laughs> too far away from here he does hair in Nashville and I was thinking about going to him because I was like oh this person like cuts hair like this all the time and 
so he would know exactly like what to do and whatever. I was like, I don't really want to like travel outside of my town to just go get a haircut because I mean, I've done that kind of thing before and it was just kind of like extra. So I met Samantha, she cut my hair once. She did it perfectly. You can go watch that video on my channel. Me and her have been talking a lot. Like, you know, we're very similar. Like we have like the same kind of vibe. You know, we just, our personalities just mix really well. Yeah, she's awesome and I really trust her with my hair. I was like, you know what? Let me just tell her about my dream haircut. I showed it to her and we've been talking about it. She was like, oh yes, like totally. I I love that hairstyle, uh, you know, all the stuff. And we started talking about Rihanna's mullet and everything. We're just like, okay, yes, we are on the same page. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just go to her because she clearly understands what I want. And that's kind of rare when you have a stylist that actually understands what you want and you can have that like back and forth or at least for me that's been my experience um why i haven't really wanted to go to a stylist in so long is because i just didn't feel like i had someone who understood me and like really respected what i want because you know you tell people you want a mullet and they're like you know like they don't want like a mullet to be attached to their brand or whatever they give you their version of it and yeah at least that's what's happened to me in the past when I went and said that I wanted a mullet so glad that I decided to tell her about it just opening up and telling people like hey this is what I actually really want <laughs> because it honestly just looks like me like this looks so much like me that it's kind of like I feel like I was born to have this hair just to be honest so yeah, I hope you guys like the video and yeah, thanks for coming along with me.